Hello fellow homebodies. Welcome back to my channel, Catskill Mountain Homebody. My name's Amy. All right, as you can see behind me, my Easter decorations are still up even though Easter has passed. As I've mentioned in other videos, I keep my Easter decorations up until the beginning of May. So all of April is Easter in my house. Oh, here comes Chipper. Here he comes, here he is. Here he is, Mr. Patrol Officer. Hi, Patrol Officer. Hi. Are you being good today? Okay, you can sit on mommy. You can strip up. Come on. Okay, you can sit on me. <laughs> My forever buddy. I know, I love you too. <laughs> okay, okay, relax. So, we have two more weeks of April. I'm going to be leaving most of my Easter decor up, which is also spring decor, until the beginning of May. And then I'm going to transition in, into my summer decorating, so that'll be another video. But today is going to be a decorating video. But it's going to be something different that I haven't done yet. I'm going to focus on my bedroom, Joe's and my bedroom. Up oh, here's Scout. Look at who he, Scout came. They both came to see us. I know, I'm here. We're all gonna be together today, yeah. <laughs> all right, so the focus of today's video, all right, let's see if I can get this out now. The focus of today's video is to spring and summer up my bedroom, Joe's in my bedroom. The dogs are crazy. I have to walk them, actually. All right, let me walk them and then I'll come back and tell you what the plan is for today. Okay, dogs are walked. Mission accomplished. Right, Chip? Yeah, I know. I know. I love you. All right, give you a little backstory of what I usually do in my bedroom. I don't do a lot of decorating for holidays in my bedroom. I do a little bit. So it's not like I put a Christmas tree up in there at Christmas time or have Easter eggs up there at Easter time. I don't really have any of that stuff up there. Um, but I do have two different bed coverings or bedspreads. Um, I have a fall and winter one that's on the bed right now. And then I have a spring and summer bedspread that I swap out, usually around April. So I'm gonna go upstairs. Right now it's winterized bedspread. It's not really a bedspread, it's more like a, I don't even know what you'd call it, like a heavy, it's almost like a heavy comforter. Um, it's very warm. So I'll show you the winter bed covering, and then we're gonna swap it out for the spring bed covering. So the only thing that I do up there in terms of decorating, honestly, is put different pillows on the bed. So I have a fall pillow I'll put on the bed in fall. I have a, you know, I do have a Christmas one. And then I have different, obviously a different set for summer. So my summer set has birds on it. So we're going to go upstairs and I'm going to show you around the bedroom a little bit and I'm going to walk you through swapping out my fall and winter comforter for, for my spring and summer one.
welcome to my bedroom. I put some pillows on the bed to demonstrate what it looks like in different seasons. All right, so if you'll notice, this bedspread is very wintry looking, and it's actually an orangey red and a brown. And if you look at the underneath of it, it's like this Sherpa warm material. So if I was freezing cold, I could just put this up on me. So I put this on the bed in September and I take it down in April. Okay, so it's April now. I'm gonna take it down and I'm gonna re replace it with the lighter bedspread for the summer and the spring. The spring and summer bedspread that I have is lighter. It's not a heavy comforter and it has birds on it. So let me pull it out and show you. I've already washed it and stored it from last year. set that I bought a few years ago. I think I got it from Amazon. And it has lots of little different color birds on it. So I'm going to be taking the heavy comforter off the bed and washing it and storing it for next fall. And we're going to be putting the birds on the bed. All right. So one thing I want to point out is that we have a ceiling fan here. When I change my bed out, that's when I clean my ceiling fan. So I usually clean, like right, right now I clean the ceiling fan and all the dust went on this bed. Um, I'm gonna wash this comforter, so I don't care. But that's usually when I wash the ceiling fan, when I clean it off is when I know the dust is gonna go on the bed, but I'm gonna wash all the bedding anyway. So I'm gonna be washing all this bedding, so I don't care that it's dusty. So I'm gonna be taking all this stuff off right now, the bed, and then I'm gonna be putting the the spring comforter on the bed. So let's get that done. change the sheets once a week. I not only wash the sheets, but I also wash this blanket once a week. So I'm going to be doing that Monday. Um, I, I changed these sheets last Monday, so I keep them on a week and then I change them out. So I'm not going to do that today because it's not Monday. And so I'm going to just be putting the new comforter over this, over these sheets and this blanket. And then on Monday, I will wash the sheets and blanket, but not the comforter. I only wash the comforters twice a year when I change the bedding out. So, we're going to put the we're going to put the bird comforter on the bed.
this bedspread because I wanted something with a cream background to kind of brighten the room up. Um, in the winter, I like a cozier, darker bedspread because it's cold out and it's dark outside and I want something cozy and warm in the bedroom. But in the spring, I like something light and brighter. And I wanted something with like a spring theme, which is why I really like the birds. Um, and I love the color orange. And this room has a lot of browns and woods and creams. And I really love the color orange in the summer, partly because I love the fall. But I really like the, the orange accents in this set, which is why I chose it. And I really do like it in the bedroom. By the way, this bedroom set Joe got me for my birthday about 12 years ago. We never had a bedroom set. We never had a bedroom set. At one point we took my parents' old bedroom set that was cracked and falling apart from the 70s. And then when that fell apart, we just had a bed frame. So I really, really, really wanted a, a nice bedroom set. And I always wanted a sleigh bed. I love sleigh beds because I, I just love the idea of sleeping in a sleigh <laughs> in the middle of winter in a cozy, cozy sleigh with comforter and warm blankets. So this is a sleigh bed, and I told you I wanted a sleigh bed set, and that's all I told him. And he ended up going to the store and picking this out, so it's very special because he picked it out for me. And it comes with two nightstands, and then it comes with this piece of furniture that has the mirror. And that's it, we don't have a, any more pieces to our bedroom set. And this is a queen size bed, which is big enough for me and Joe. Uh, Joe always says, you know, this is a big bedroom and it would look better with a king size bed. I don't want a king size bed. I want this bedroom set because this bedroom set's sentimental. So I don't want to change anything in this bedroom and I'm not going to change anything. And by the way, a queen size bed is big enough for me and Joe. I'm not like we're falling out of bed every night. There's plenty of room for two people to sleep in a queen size bed. You don't need a king size bed. Um, this chair in the corner, we bought probably 22 years ago. And I really love the color green. And this is nice when I'm putting on my socks in the morning. Sometimes Julius would come up here and sit in the chair and watch TV. So, and then Joe and Julius got me this pug pillow for my birthday a few years back. It's so cute, that little face. I love it, it looks so cute in that chair. So that's pretty much it for the bedroom. Don't mind the vacuum cleaner. Um, this is where the pups sleep at night. And they sleep together. They've slept together since the day we brought Scout home. Chipper and Scout have slept together. They snuggle up and they love it. And when they're tired, they sit outside this pen and wait for us to open the door so they can go in there and snuggle down. So, and then we cover it with a blanket at night because this, especially now the sun is rising early in the morning and we don't want them to get up too early. If we cover it, they can still see us, we leave the bottom open. But if we cover it, then there's less sunlight going into their pen that will wake them up. This mirror that I showed you earlier is an antique mirror that the previous owners had installed. It's literally attached to the wall. And I have a feeling they painted it black. I don't think it originally, I don't, I don't imagine it was originally black, but it is an antique. So it ha the mirror you can tell has some blemishes in it because it is an old mirror, but that I love it. And it's nice to have a full length mirror in the bedroom so you can kind of check out how awesome your jeans look. <laughs> and then I have a little costume jewelry. This is costume jewelry, some of which was my grandmother's. This was my grandmother's costume jewelry. This was my father's mother's costume jewelry here. This was my mother's mother's jewelry. That's my closet, which I'm not gonna show because it's messy. And then we have an ensuite bathroom that I'm also not going to show because it's messy. Oh my God, look at this dog. He doesn't miss an opportunity to snuggle on my bed. Look at this baby. Look, he knows. He knows that this is not the place he is supposed to be snuggling. Is it? I have to wash those. Why are you so silly, Chippy? Why? You don't care. You don't care. You're just going to snuggle down. You're like, this is my bed now, mommy. Is this your bed now? Is it? You don't care. Oh, are you gonna come say hi? Okay, okay. I forgive you for sleeping on mommy's bed. <laughs> I love you. All right, we're gonna bring this. This is my winter comforter. I'm gonna be bringing it downstairs to get all the dirt 
and the dust off it from fall and the winter. And now I have to get Chipper hair off it. Right, Chipper? Chipper is claiming his kingdom right now. He's like, that is my kingdom, mommy. And you are not going to wash this comforter. Oh, there's his brother. There's Scouty. All right, I'm going to run these comforters downstairs. And I'll meet you guys downstairs. I'm back downstairs. I wanted to show you that I put out some of my spring Mary's Moo Moo's. I put away my March ones and I put out the spring ones and the summer ones. So that's the only thing I've done down here for, for summer decorations. Again, I'm going to wait till May to do the full summer house decorations. Right now I just have my spring and Easter decorations up, which I'm going to leave up for another week and a half. All right, before I leave, I want to show you one more thing that I forgot to show you upstairs in the bedroom. That's something sentimental. But before I run up there, I wanna just thank you guys for joining me today. Welcome back to some of the subscribers. And if you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel, Catskill Mountain Homebody, where I do decorating, cooking, and baking, and talking a little bit about New York, Catskill area. All right, let me run upstairs and I'm gonna show you one more thing that I forgot to show you. Okay, so on our bedroom door is a pine cone wreath that my mother-in-law gave us years ago when Julius was a little kid. Probably this is going back 2003, 2002 or 2003. So my mother-in-law was very, very crafty and she was very artistic. She made me several things over the years, but that's one of the things that she surprised us with one year. And she knows that I love country and I love pine cones, so she made us a pine cone wreath. And we've had it hanging in our house ever since we got it. But in this house, we hung it on the bedroom door, so it's always there, always a part of her. She passed away in 2014, but, but we do have the wreath that she gave us. So that's a very special wreath that we keep on our bedroom door to remind us of uh, my mother-in-law, Joe's mother. All right, so we got the bedroom ready for spring and summer. Next video, I'll probably be baking or cooking, but eventually I'm gonna have a Let's Decorate for Summer video coming out. So I hope that you're enjoying the wonderful weather. It's warming up here in the Catskills and the grass is starting to turn green. We haven't gotten the leaves yet, but that's coming next. So the beautiful time of year is coming. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for joining me.